Capricorn, we're going to pop into your universe for the next 24 hours. I'm a neck. I heard spring cleaning is in order, Cap, but if you're going to, but I'm also hearing to to do it, um, <laughs> to do it slowly. Okay, so, oh, maybe some of y'all left. Okay. Oh. I mean, we're starting out very, oh, I mean, Cap always bring the heat. Cap always, oh, la, la, la. Look, I said bring the heat and warms water. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with um extreme temperatures. I have not been um following the weather uh proactively. I've been, I've been really just trying to like, let my natural weather abilities take form. So that could be significant for someone here. Um, this King of Pentacles, though, um, high offices and titles. I, I I really feel like there's a lot of people in your universe that could that identify as this King of Pentacles, and they they see you as themselves. I don't really look at this as a as like a man thing. More like just kind of like a, I see you, you see me, like type situation. Um, now, Baphomet did come out in Cancer, I think. So that's actually really cool um, because I just recorded Cancer. So pulling on that magnetic alignment, all right? Um, I feel like this next 24 hours cap is very interesting. And I say that because I feel like, oh my gosh, of course they are. Coworkers are too problematic. Um, you don't need permission to cut nobody off. And social media breaks. So, you guys, make sure you're on the right platform, whether you are creating and or consuming. And I highly encourage those of you guys to make sure that you have things set up on platforms where you have con where you've been a consumer longer than you've been a creator. Uh, and that's not just for some like oh, let's overthrow the government and the dynasty-like type shit. Just like, just make sure you are in position to recover your energy back and protect it in a way that's going to benefit you and not other people. I feel like that's what your guardian spirits is saying for this next 24 hours. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm just getting so much. Why? Why? Some of you guys may have half in an air house because I feel like I can't even really get together my thoughts. So maybe what Baphomet is doing is really helping to balance your um, balance your thoughts out so you're able to kind of like, you know, pick like, okay, this is what I need to focus on. This is what I need to focus on. That's what I need to focus on. Um, there, There is a lot. Whatever you are truly desiring and craving, Cap, I will... I will say this next 24 hours, your guardian spirits uh, agree. That is what's best for you. Some of you guys might have guardian spirits that are kind of like, um, they they don't necessarily always think that you're making the right decisions that are best for you and best for what you want based off this King of Pentacles energy. Um, the, the King of Pentacles has to make decisions that he doesn't want to make. Like, you know, at some point when you are on a path to greater, okay, when you, when you can turn metal into gold, okay, you can turn things. Like, you, you can't always help everybody out. I feel like... Whatever you're going through, Capricorn, is a situation where it's like you can't help everybody out. And I'm not just saying that to speak to one type of person. I feel like that's a universal message that can apply to anybody, whether no matter what state you're in. Also, I feel like the people that you there's a lot of envy around you, um, Cap. And I feel like it's all like in your aura. It's all in your energy field. Um, women, I feel like who aren't. Woo. She was a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt it too. Y'all, I said I was going to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it. I was at the grocery store. Okay. I'm making no secret that I'm not where I want to be financially. And I tell that um, because I'm not. I, I've come to realize what I want. Baby is longer than a long game. 
it's a it is a backtracking game. It is me walking backwards and forwards at the same time. Like one minute, like this comes up. Okay, I have to make sure that this doesn't happen again. I was at the grocery store. Shout out to Jewel Osco because I know y'all been waiting on this. I've been waiting on saying it too. Uh, if you guys have a Jewel Osco in your ear, this is not sponsored. This is just as a a freaking mom. My kids can very much so tell when y'all is out here making food and y'all are grumpies. Okay. I I love the direction that they are going in. And I like being shopping and being places where I feel safe. And I very much so. <laughs> feel like this is what your guardian spirit is trying to show you. However, just because you may feel safe at a place does not mean that extends throughout the time. So let's say, for instance, we'll, we'll use a liquor store for an example. Um, there are some liquor stores that are open like 24 hours. Uh, I don't know where they at. I don't think they're around. Where they're at. But they're open a long time. You may feel, so, I I don't really want to use a certain example, but maybe somebody here needs something a little bit. Maybe somebody needs something here that you can't really say out loud. So you may feel safer going at 10 a.m. instead of 10 p.m. And I feel like here for the next 24 hours, Cap, actually probably next 24 months, your guardian spirits wants you to pay attention to when you feel the safest to go somewhere. You have to go at that time or that day or not at all. You may have to delegate it to somebody else. Um, so the situation I had at the grocery store in the parking lot, like I, most of the time I go outside, I'm, I don't have much, y'all. Like I'm, I'm making a deal with what I got until I am able to access more, able to tap into more. Uh, however, I've just learned to, learned to navigate so many rough waters, so many great noises, so many <laughs> problematic storms. You know, you just kind of get used to that. I'm going to groceries like in my mom's truck. And when I, baby, when I tell you, it's the difference between like somebody look at you kind of like side eye envy. She was staring me down. Mind you, my wig is so busted. Like, I, for the life of me in that moment. And I was rushing because I had to hurry up getting a pickup line. Because if it's anybody that's hungrier than people trying to uh, siphon your energy is the parents in the pickup line at school. Because don't nobody want to be in the back. <laughs> but anywho, um, she just was staring me down so hard. And I'm just like, in, in that split second, you know what I thought to myself? Like, why is she looking at me like she got a problem with me? Like. It, it, I just, and I'm assuming, maybe not. <laughs> she was with her, um, I, I usually say partner if I don't know if two people are married, but it's her spouse partner. It, it seemed like they was having, you know, a little, a little charge conversation. Uh, but she just was staring at me. And I'm like, my first thought was, why is she looking at me like that? It seemed like she wear her man and, and they're in a Tesla. <laughs> like, wow. But then I immediately snapped back into my own reality. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know what they're going through. I don't know what they have going on. They could That could probably not even be theirs. They could be renting that. Or maybe it could be somebody else's. But I say all this to say, um, I feel like what Baphomet is trying to teach you about this magician energy is that you hold all the cards all the time in any situation. It's just a matter of, are, are you letting people see them? Are you looking at them? Or are you distracted? I feel like Baphomet's message here for someone is you are very distracted. Not because you want to be, but because I feel like they're, your guardian spirits are trying to show you how to connect safely with divine on a way where certain things won't be problematic for you. But then also at the same time, there are just some things that are problematic for you and they are making things a bigger problem for you. Uh, I don't know who is here watching me, but I just feel very, very, very heavy online presence. And I am learning very fast. 
that does not just include YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or Face Meta, Met, Meta Book. Um, Snapchat, it very, like LinkedIn is like, uh, it holds some weight, 1010. And I feel like your guardian spirits want you to see that you hold similar weight if you are constantly finding yourself in spaces and places where you have to ask if you are okay, if I'm safe here, if this is somewhere that is going to benefit not just my past, my present, as well as my future. Because I used to talk about a little bit that past, present, future energies are all at the same time. As much as somebody do not want to tell you, it is. Sorry. It, it is. It's, it's all, you know, you don't, Yo, your past self don't just uh, uh go nowhere. You can unlearn something to you in a situation that forces you to remember that that was something that you learned, that you either had to unlearn or stick with it. And I feel like your guardian spirits, they, they're they ready for you to kind of like connect back with some things that you've learned that were actually helping you to survive, maybe not thrive. And that's the harsh reality. That's that's the fucked up part, right? Like sometimes we are in that thrivership, but I feel like your guardian spirits are ready for you to thrive. But this time to thrive and to stay thriving because you could be thriving and within a blink of an eye, here comes somebody. And especially if you know you got something that, you know, you got something, you got something going on. There's always going to be energies trying to mobilize around you and or against you, Cap. So I feel like your guardian spirits is getting you back on track, getting you back on where you need to be. Um, I feel like there's certain things that you want to enjoy, certain things that you want to have, certain luxuries. Your guardian spirits is like, yes, okay, Booski, bet. However, you had it before. If you had it before, you could lose it again. If you've never had it, then here comes this whole monstrous threat of what will come to try to get you to try to get it away from you. Someone here, like your guardian spirits, really wants you to be very smart. Very, uh, honey, this is uh, normally some of y'all got y'all Mars and Capricorn because this is pure Mars energy. If you don't have Mars and Capricorn, um, you might have Mars and Cancer. When you understand that energy works like a scale and baby, when it's balanced, it is a force. Ooh. I was getting ready to say something. But I'm starting to understand that sometimes my saying something is doing a little bit more than I think you are going to start seeing massive shifts in energetic partnerships that are balanced. So if you hear and you a cap as much as you may not like to hear it and or even accept it, your energetic, ba energetic balance is cancer. So it is understanding those cancerian themes, those cancerian patterns, paying attention to not when the moon is just in Capricorn, I bet I don't see how y'all some of y'all live in New York. I kudos to y'all. Cause I feel like this area that I'm in, like one thing I've noticed about towns, they kind of like model the energy of other towns to harness the energy of said city and place. So <laughs> um it's very noisy over here. I'm still getting used to that. However, sometimes that noise is good. So not paying attention to when the moon is just in cap, but when the moon is in cancer, when you're having, if you pay attention to the moon cycles, if you're just here and you like, Booski, I'm here so you can tell me, maybe I just needed to say that out loud because I hear that sometimes and I be thinking like, okay, the fuck is we doing today? <laughs> I just want to be outside. Yeah, you know, not outside like that, y'all, like literally on a balcony. <laughs> This connection is teaching you to love yourself. I feel a love bug, y'all. Let me stop seeing love bug. I feel a love ocean. I feel a love wave. I feel a love monsoon. A love tsunami. Come rush and bring your energies on shore and show me that you really mean it. Okay, so I love you more than life itself. I need you, baby, to do an antidote to my health. We are going to change the world. 
my life with you. Sweetheart, if you love anybody that has Capricorn in their chart, whether you are a man and or a woman, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Okay, I hope bringing this out helped y'all, okay? Rise some energies to the surface. All right, y'all, I'm excited. I got some more to go, and I can go back outside and do what I want to do, which is stare at the sky. <laughs> I love y'all, even if y'all don't love me. Peace. Baby, I just want you to get up. Baby, I've been with you better. Wish you would just focus on me.